Okay, today we're going to talk about a program called Drumbit. It's a free drum machine that works on your Chromebooks, well, pretty much any computer. The assignment for today is to create an exciting rhythm and a relaxing rhythm. So we start off with what we learned yesterday about tempo, and we know that faster tempos lead to more exciting sounds and slower tempos lead to um, more calming music. So we're gonna do the more exciting one first. Right now the tempo is set to 80 beats per minute. Remember we talked about the metronome? The metronome just describes tempo in ways that can really be measured, not just fast or slow, but actually a number. So I'm gonna take this device, which shows four beats, one, two, three, four, and then it takes every beat and breaks it into four parts. So here's one, four parts for that, two, four parts, three, four parts, four, four parts. And I'm going to start with a closed hi-hat. That's a sort of a symbol. And so I'm going to put a closed hi-hat on every single part of the song. Now I come to the play button and I can hear it. Okay, now I'm going to help the audience hear where is one, two, and three, and four by going to the kick drum. That's usually the biggest drum. I'm going to put a one, two, three, and four. Let's hear that. And what we're used to in our music is what's called a strong backbeat. And the backbeat is usually on two and four. So I go to two and my snare drum, another type of drum, I put that on two and four. And this is the most common drum beat now. So that's kind of mellow. So I'm going to go to my tempo and I'm going to raise that tempo up, make it a little bit faster. How about 140? That should be fast enough. Now let's put some other stuff in. Um, maybe I'm going to play with my closed hi-hat and my open hi-hat. So I'm going to just randomly change some of my closed hi-hats to open hi-hat, get a little bit more variation in my pattern. And now, just kind of for fun, I'm going to put in these toms. Because remember, we're trying to create a lot of energy, so I want to have a lot of stuff going on. Now I can also decide that I want some things louder or softer. Here's the volume for every single drum. I'm going to make my tom toms a little softer. And the crash symbol is a really big symbol and usually you use it to mark the beginning of a measure. So I'm going to put a crash at the beginning of the measure. So we'll say that's my exciting pattern. And if I hit save file, it will download this pattern to your Chromebook and you can use it again later on. Um, now I'm going to clear. I hit this and I hit clear pattern. And I'm going to slow the tempo way down. And I'm actually going to change the drum set from the kit number one. I'm going to pick different drums and go to R and B. Again, I'm going to say, here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. It's still loading. Let's see what it sounds like. So it's already a little bit more mellow, a lot softer. This time I'm going to put my hi-hats maybe on every other beat instead of on every beat. And here I have different percussion. I'm going to put a, let's see what this percussion sound is. They're kind of low, low pitch. There we go, that's kind of nice. And there's my mellow patch. And what I did was I picked 